Unplugged. This is PAX Unplugged 2019, and I'm here with... Thomas Harrison. And you are? I'm the game director and rules designer for the Alien RPG. I'm one of the founders of Free League Publishing, who's publishing this game. So, this is Alien from the movie Alien. Yeah. Aliens, Aliens 3, and so forth and so forth. Prometheus. Yeah. So, uh, tell us about this. So, so, when I think of Alien, I think of horror. Yeah. Horror in space. So, how is this, how did you put this game together? Well, I mean, that's really one of the key things, is uh, to get that feel through. I mean, rules-wise and setting-wise and get, I mean, horror in space, I think this game goes primarily back to the first movie and the second movie. It takes place uh, a few years after the second movie, after Alien, so that's the era we're focusing on, is like the two first movies. And those have, I mean, the first movie is like really a horror movie in space, the second is more of an action movie, and those two elements are key in this game as well. So rules-wise, it's really what we're focusing on. We have a system for stress and panic that really brings out that feel of rising tension and horror, uh, and also the action, of course. So it's, it's been key when we try to design this game to get that feeling across from the, primarily from the first two movies. So if this is a role-playing game, what can one person expect to be in this world? Well, there's a couple of different uh, type. We have something called campaign framework, so you can choose what kind of characters you want to play. We have three in the core game. The first one we call space truckers. It's basically the crew of the uh, of the of the Nostromo in the first movie. They're like blue collar workers, you know, working hard in outer space, just you know, and getting into trouble of the most horrible kind. So that's one, the space truckers. The second uh, campaign framework that we have are colonial marines. So that's like in the second movie where you play uh, soldiers, basically. And then the third concept we have we call uh, Frontier Colonists. It's kind of like the, the crew in, in the Alien Covenant, the recent movie, where people who go out f far into space exploring new worlds and, and settling there. And that's like the third framework you can play when you play this uh, campaign style. So tell us about the, the rule mechanics for this game. It, uh, what, what, do, what dice do you need? Yeah. Uh, this is used as a version of what we call the Year Zero engine, which we're used in, in almost all of our RPGs, but it's obviously very heavy, heavily tailored to fit Alien and the themes of that. So it's a, But it's a, a dice pool system that uses only six-sided dice. You can actually play with any six-sided dice, but uh, you have two types of dice. You have the base dice, which you use for normal actions, and then you have the stress dice, and they really factor into the stress mechanic. Because when you do uh, experience stressful things or you push dice rolls and you do things that, that sort of uh, push you to the limit, you get more of these stress dice and they will actually help you. So you get more dice, a better chance to succeed at doing stuff. But rolling stress dice can also trigger panic effects. So it's kind of like a game of blackjack where that tension rises and rises and rises and you'll actually get better because of that. But then you can tip over the tipping point and, and you go into a panic or trigger some kind of panic effect. That's very briefly, I mean, the, the system works. So um, what other, so you have the, the main core book, yeah. you have the Game Master screen, yeah. you also have a set of cards to help visual aid for yeah. the players, yes. All right, is there anything else that, that comes along with it? Uh, yeah, we have the, like, the two types of dice, so we have uh, uh, custom dice sets for that with uh, little symbols on them to make it easier to, uh, to see the effects. And then there's also a separate scenario called Chariot of the Gods, and that's a full cinematic scenario with pre-generated characters and maps and everything. And it's written by Drew Gaska, who did the setting work, and he's a, an author who's also worked a lot on Alien and other franchises. Uh, so that, that uh, scenario is a separate booklet, and that's also available now at, at launch. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And uh, stay tuned for more information about Alien RPG.